Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're not. Today is gonna be another video on packing for a trip. By the time this posts, I think I'll be home for my trip, but we are leaving tomorrow actually for a trip to the south of France. And I'm super excited because I've never been there and I love going places I've never been. I'm a Sagittarius, so you know, our love language is traveling. So I'm obviously just like really excited that we are going on a fun adventure. But I just made one of these videos for our last trip to Florida and I figured I would do one for this as well. So this is kind of inspo for if you're going anywhere. This summer that kind of has like a European summer feel to it which is what I'm envisioning South of France to be like. Since I've never been there, this is a bit of a shot in the dark too. I, I didn't do like a ton of research or anything. That's just not my style. So um, I'm just hoping for the best, packed my outfit. What I do for these videos is just go through all the outfits that I have planned and then while I'm on my trip, I'll try to take pictures of them while I'm wearing them so you guys can see like if the vision came to life and what it was like in the setting and get some inspo for your own trips or if you're just interested in seeing what I wore on this trip, then it'll all be here as well. So I'll link everything that I can in the description box. I keep making these videos because we go on trips a lot since we love to travel. So let me know if you guys are liking them and we'll keep it up. Also, if you guys saw the Florida vlog, I haven't put on self tanner for a while because I don't want to have to deal with it. Like this summer going into the ocean and like going on trips and stuff, I don't want to have to deal with taking it off and putting it on and stuff. So I just have like a normal tan right now, but I always wear sunscreen on my neck and my face so they're way paler and now my body is tan and then my foundation kind of is like a tan shade. My neck is really pale, so I need to figure that out, and I am aware that it's happening, so don't fret if you're noticing that too. We're aware over here. And then if you didn't notice, perfect, great. Don't even listen to me. Let's get into the outfits. So I mentioned this in my other video, and I always say when I'm packing, this is one of my favorite tricks for keeping everything organized. But what I do when I'm packing for a trip, pretty much any trip, even if it's just a short weekend one, is I try on all my outfits to make sure I like them, because sometimes in your head it sounds cute, you put it on and you're just like, whoa, I completely forgot what my body type was, or something strange like that sometimes happens with outfits, or just doesn't feel as good on it as you thought it would. So I always try my outfits on to make sure I like them, make sure they look good, and then I take a picture of them, usually in the mirror, just a little mirror selfie, and then I put them all in a folder, which is the name of the trip. So this folder is called South of France, and then when I'm on my trip, when I'm getting ready to get dressed each day, I just go look at the folder, look at the pictures, and say, hmm, what do I want to wear today? And I can see what everything looks like on and I remember and it just keeps everything really organized and streamlined for me so I love that highly recommend let's get into it um also for summer trips I feel like it's nice that everything is smaller so it's easier to pack a lot more also I'm not like a minimal type of girl when it comes to packing I would rather overpack than underpack so I still have a lot of stuff if you guys would want to see a video on packing like more minimally I could do that I'm never gonna actually do that for a trip probably but I I could do a video as if I was going to yeah so there's there's a lot of outfits here but I am gonna be gone for I think it's like 12 days or something so it is a pretty long trip and let's just jump right in I'm gonna go in order of the photos so they're kind of random I typically have like two outfits a day for this because I'm thinking like a dinner vibe is different a little more dressed up than whatever we're doing the, in the day and I also don't even know what the vibe is like there really at all I am literally that TikTok sound that I'm just in charge of the outfits like I have no idea what else is going on so Hopefully these things are appropriate for the trip, but we'll see starting out I have like a nighttime outfit that is on the dressier side so kind of the theme I'm thinking for this trip is a lot of texture like kind of luxurious but still chic but just like having a little bit of fun with it it feels like a really big deal to me to be going here and I want my outfits to be things that I wouldn't normally wear so this top is a little splurge item that I picked up from Revolve it's like a gold tassel bralette style top it's absolutely stunning I love the texture it's got a ton going on and then I paired it with some leather shorts that I also picked up from Revolve and these are such a good piece you can style them 
up or down i'm really excited about them they're super comfy and then the clutch that i have is this little like seashell golden clutch from colt gaia and then for the heels i have these like chunky kind of look like the versace heels they are from misguided they're black they go with a ton of stuff and i think that's good for just like a nighttime look all right next up we have a more casual daytime look so this is a pair of navy blue trousers. These are the Abercrombie ones, so comfortable. And then I have this little white top from Revolve. I feel like this is a very European summer top. It's got the little tie. It feels good for like the countryside or little cobblestone streets. It feels like it just fits the scene to me. And then I am wearing a beret in this photo. We'll see if it makes the cut in real life. Clayton absolutely hates when I wear berets. I do not know why, I think they're so cute. He's just really salty about it, but we're going to France, so duh, I'm gonna wear them. And I even like to wear them here. And then for shoes, I'm gonna wear my Reeboks. This is one of my favorite pair of sneakers. They're super comfy. They kind of have a vintage look to them, which is perfect for European summer. And then this little vintage Dior saddlebag. Okay, next, this one's kind of weird. I know, it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. But like I said, I want these outfits to be things I wouldn't normally wear. I'm really obsessed with texture for this trip. So I picked up this two-piece set from ASOS and it's basically like this ruffly floral texture all over. It's this really pretty dusty mauve color it's got a belt that matches and it just creates like a lot of volume on the bottom which I really like styling like that for my body type because I'm very straight and I have narrow hips so adding like a little bit of volume on the bottom half is a great tip for kind of like balancing out my proportions a little bit so I love those pants for that reason and then the top is the mac matching texture it's got one sleeve on it and I just think it's really cute and fun. I paired it with a pair of white heels and then I just picked up a little white clutch yesterday at the mall because I needed something like that for life in general and for this trip. So that's a little going out dinner outfit as well. Next up, I'm not sure, I think this is like a dinner outfit. I paired it with heels, but it also could be like a daytime if we go on a boat or to a beach club or something outfit. And it's all white. I picked up these pants from ASOS as well. They're like a roughly lace drama pant and they're so freaking cute and cool. They kind of give me like pirate vibes. Captain Jack Sparrow maybe in my girl form. No, I don't know but I just love them. Again, they add like a lot of volume on the bottom, so super flattering, I think. And then I paired them with white heels because they're long, but like I said, they could be like a boat situation, so maybe just like barefoot or something. And then I paired them with the white Boyd tank top. I think I'm actually gonna switch it out for the high neck version, but I it was in the wash when I was taking these photos, so I just put that one on, but basically the same thing. And then a little white shoulder bag. Next up, this is a good daytime outfit. So this is a pair of Abercrombie slacks as well. These are in like a tan color. And then I'm really into like the vest look lately, kind of that like bohemian flair to things. So um, the boy tank is under this again. I love it because it is nice and tight. I don't have to wear a bra. It matches everything, super simple. And then this little vest top is from it's just like a little kind of like men's wary bohemian feel to it and then I don't know what I was doing in this picture I don't have any accessories or shoes with this so lord help me no I'm just kidding it's fine I'll just throw something with it while I'm on the trip but it's very unlike me to do that so don't forget Okay, next up, I love this outfit. Super simple. Whenever you need like styling tips or just like an idea or whatever for a trip or in general, all one color just looks freaking amazing all the time in my opinion. So this is one of my favorite tank tops ever. It's from Princess Polly. I think it's so flattering. It's got the little underwire cutout situation feel to it and it's a little black ribbed crop top and then I paired it with these pants from Storettes. They are like a, what is that material? Like, I don't know how to describe that material. It's kind of like, almost like shiny and it doesn't wrinkle. Do you know what I mean? Very light and breathable though. High-waisted like comfy pants like that. And then I have these white sandals on here, but I actually ordered black sandals like this after this photo. So I could, um, I'm bringing them as well. So I could just switch out for the black sandals. And then I have a black bag. It's just very seamless, nice, clean looking outfit. This would be perfect for daytime, but it could also transition to a nighttime outfit if you just switched out the shoes. Okay, next up, this one's really fun. It definitely felt the most, maybe one of the most extra, and Clayton doesn't love my extra outfits that much, but this is, I'm just having fun with the extraness for this trip, so no, not, not trying to call you out Clayton, but I think the girls are gonna like this dress. 
So this dress is a little sequin number. It's high necked and it's white. It's got feathers on the bottom. It kind of gives me like modern Marilyn Monroe feel to it. And it was actually too long for me. So I cut maybe like two inches off the bottom, just like of the feathers. And since it was so textured down there, it was really easy to do. And I think it looks so much better cut shorter. And then I paired that with some white heels. And I thought for a bag, I would just throw in that seashell gold bag for like a fun kind of spunky touch even though this outfit already has a lot of spunk and texture and everything I thought why not let's just do it all so that's where we are with that next up we have super casual this is gonna be great if we're going to like a beach or pool situation anything super casual and kind of like swimwear focused so I picked up this little like tube top baby doll style dress from ASOS that is so comfy I love things like this because it like barely touches your body pretty much just touches you like right here where the strap is and the rest is just like flowing around you like a little bubble and then I paired it with my white platform sandals and this black and white vintage Chanel bag I have so just like super comfy casual outfit next up we have a another going out like dinner outfit so I picked up this really fun skirt again it has like a lot of texture and sparkle this is from ASOS as well and it's this really beautiful mint green color and it has a bunch of embellishment and I just felt like it was really fun perfect for summer too and then I have it with the Boyd tank again I think I'm gonna wear the high neck version with this but it was still in the wash and then reusing that black and white Chanel bag and also the black chunky shoes from misguided so I am reusing things here and there but I still did pack like a ton of stuff okay next up I have a selkie dress I've actually never worn this dress I've had it for a couple years and I feel like this is finally like the perfect trip to wear it so if you guys don't know about Sel selkie they're like famous for the silhouette of dresses kind of like a baby doll over exaggerated silhouette super cute this one is a really pale colorful gingham and i feel like it's perfect for the summer or spring and like maybe going into a winery or something i don't know it just fits the bill here for a bag i would like to do like this little picnic basket bag that i have but it's huge like it's very structured and it's like this big it would just take up so much room in my suitcase so unfortunately i'm settling for that little black and white bag i don't think it matches perfectly but sacrifice we're making here and then for shoes I would love to wear like rain boots with this but again those would take up a lot of room so instead I'm just opting for my boring white sandals so you know things happen next up we have a daytime outfit this one is super comfy and chic like I mentioned I'm really into those like vests kind of the men wear menswear style or they have like a bohemian flair to them too kind of piratey again so these pants are from the brand called The Now, and they're like a silky satiny champagne pant. They obviously need to be steamed from this photo, but that can happen. And then this little black vest is from Windsor. Super comfy, really cute and simple. And then my black Chanel bag from Retouch. And then the shoes that I'm going to wear with this are... Either the chunky black sandals that weren't in my life by the time I took this photo or I got a pair of like flat braided black sandals from H&M that felt like very Euro to me as well. So either one of those sandals will work with this outfit and it's a good just like daytime fit. Next, this is one of my favorite outfits actually in this little album. So these shorts are from Urban Outfitters and they have a nice amount of volume on them like I mentioned earlier so they kind of like flare out a little bit and they're very like chic looking. They remind me of like a golfing short. They're super comfy. They're white. I think they come in a couple of other colors as well which I actually need them because I've styled these so many times already going into the summer um, and then I just pair them with like a skinny little black belt for a little bit of detail. My Reebok sneakers again, that black and white Chanel and then the top that I have on here is from Princess Polly and it's so cute, so flattering, very summery and this is a perfect daytime outfit again. Okay, next up, this outfit is one that I actually brought to Florida but I didn't end up wearing because we literally just spent all of our time on the beach there. So I really didn't need that many outfits but this one was so cute and I was really sad that I didn't wear it. So I'm bringing it, it's just a pair of denim shorts my green sandals, this green Prada bag, and then this little knit bolero from, it's called Sasha and Sam or something. I think it's, a, it's an Australian small business. 
I can't remember the name, but super cute. Excited to wear that. Next up is a daytime outfit. It's that same pair of shorts that I mentioned earlier. And then I paired it with a bra that I have actually from Hollister that you guys always love. Um, it's like one of my favorite bras too. I don't blame you. It's just so random to me that it's from Hollister. But a little white lacy bra and then a, another vest type situation. I picked this up the other day at Brandy Melville. It's super cute and comfy. And then a little straw bag. And those are the braided black sandals that I mentioned I got from H&M. Little chic daytime outfit. Next up, I have this skirt from ASOS. This is like a satin silky kind of like peach pink color skirt it's midi and it's super flattering really comfy and then I paired that with some braided sandals the little like braided bag from H&M a graphic tee from Princess Polly that has like wine and cheese and pizza and croissants on it it's very euro and some fun little sunglasses that you guys can't really see but Good daytime outfit another daytime outfit next so it's that same pair of shorts from urban outfitters the chunky black sandals and then this little graphic t-shirt from zara it says like something on it about fran and like a green font and then this beret this like faux leather beret and a striped sweater from zara as well so kind of just like a chic little daytime outfit and then next we have a very extra outfit this i actually got off of amazon i forget where i saw it like on tiktok tiktok or something probably and it is a like sequin dress a bodycon sequin dress that's like see-through so it kind of has the body thing under it and it's just covered in rhinestone it has like mermaid feels to it and i'm just like hey i don't know when else i'm gonna wear this so let's bring it on this trip I didn't even style it with anything here, so I don't know. I guess I'm just letting it like speak for itself. I'll probably just wear like my white heels and maybe that white clutch or something with it, but she's sparkly. And then next up, I love this outfit so much. Um, this is a Canadian tuxedo, if you will. These are like a wide leg um, jean from Frame. They're so cute and very, very comfy. Frame is like such amazing quality. And then the top is a little like denim corset style top. It's so flattering as well. And the washes match each other and they just look so good together, very chic. And then I threw on the beret out of spite for Clean. No, I'm just kidding. I threw it on because I thought it was cute with the outfit. My suitcase was already packed by the time I got this outfit in the mail. So I didn't take out my shoes and my bags to see what went with it, but I'd probably wear the Dior bag with this maybe or just like a little tote or something like a canvas tote could be cute and maybe my white sandals so yeah those are all of my outfits for south of france and then of course i'm just packing like a few things here and there that are like swimsuits pajamas i packed like an oversized t-shirt because i love to have that around and then i'll wear like an, a comfy airport outfit and that'll be everything so hopefully all these outfits work out and we have an amazing trip and all is well by the time you guys are watching this. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it's helpful and we will have some more trips coming up for the rest of the year so I can do this for them as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next.